So this is how to take care of your Weber grill. First off, you wanna get it so hot that you can melt this plastic here. And the way to do that is to use this as a fire pit for years. Next step is you have to use the wrong grill. Ah, this one doesn't even fit in here. It's actually for a fire pit. It's a different thing. It's really cool as you can tell that this under grill, I have just ruined it completely. It is just cooked. It's really dirty. So what we're gonna be doing is a rebuild on this old Weber turn into a fancy new smoke later 9000. Got new grills, under grills here, we're getting the fire boxes in, starting sticks. We're gonna be doing a whole dog today. That's right, we're smoking this whole dog. You ready for dinner? No, we wouldn't smoke a doggy. Not this doggy. Believe it or not, I actually did about a dozen successful smokes on this doodad. And it doesn't have anything like a way to access the fire. You have to like lift that up. It's a super accurate temperature gauge. And then I will be, will be using this out of the kit. You're just gonna love what you see. This is gonna be great. And then actually, this too. This is a nice, disgusting, reusable thing there. We'll give that a hosing. It's gonna be perfect. So here's the new setup of the Smokeolator 9000. We got the new bottom grill put in. We got these new charcoal chimneys set here. We're borrowing this water plate. The other one didn't work. And this is set here. You see we got a light stick sticking out there. It's time to light it. So I got my bird all crusted up, tasty, good looking like that there. And I got my Weber kettle going here she says 375 a bit high about getting almost ready to drop in the bird pro tip put your thermometer inside the barbecue so I got the bird on there she's turned up breast up since I'm a cheapo went ahead and used a pinch to scrape all the yum flavors and I packed some inside there and spread a little patty on top got my two smokingizers going there and the thermodizers go in there. So while the turkey's smoking down there in the Smokeolator 3000, I decided to go ahead and make a seltzer version of my Honeymoon Ale. Mm -hmm. Corn sugar. Right. Most seltzers are 5%. This is 5 pounds, 5%. That's kind of the game. We're just going to go for 10. Everything out here being sterile. Oh, that's not it. There it is. So, this handy dandy fermenter doesn't have any gallon markers in it. So, like, how much is a guy going to put in? So, what I decided to do was fill up this six and a half gallon fermenter up, and we'll do that amount in here. We'll just use this as the measuring device. So how much to put in? Let's, let's get this out
So you're probably asking yourself right now, what the heck happened to that turkey this guy was smoking and where's the rest of his shirt? Well, bad news, I've got no footage of the turkey being done. So this is now a brewing video. And I'm gonna put a picture of some other turkey at the end for context, but really, I, I didn't film any of that. Placing the boil essentially. Cool. Let's take a tail. Is right about six point five. Is it climbing? There's only one thing to do, and that's put more sugar in here. So we're just gonna, this raspberry is lighter, so we'll put about half of it in here. Orb. Yeah, really, the turkey's not coming back, or neither are the sleeves. Eight point two potential. You guessed it. More whirling. 